Radio. Tonight, we have got a prize that will make all our 49ers go gaga because they are playing for a fantastic round-the-world holiday. Let's meet our 49ers! Hello, 49ers! <laughs> oh, dear. Welcome to all of you. Uh, hello to Jeff. Uh, Jeff Wilsden, who, uh, who's from Worcestershire. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Phil. How are you? All right, fine, thank you. How did you get wet on the fateful day that we're going to be talking about? Uh, just got caught in a very heavy shower while I was on my push bike. Right. Now, um, you worked for a company called Geneva Engineering, yeah? I did, that was a, That was a while ago. Yeah. Now, we have a bit of a confession now. Um, the people at Geneva Engineering have no idea what happened to their microwave, do they? No. No. Would you like to tell us what happened? Uh, basically, as I say, got totally soaked through. Um, no heat into drawing the clothes. Uh, strips put my boiler suit on and uh, tried to dry my underpants out in the microwave. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to the microwave? Uh, blew up, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Your underpants caught fire, didn't they? they did. In the microwave? Yeah. Yeah. And you never told anybody? No. Would you like to apologise right now? Uh, yes. Sorry, Geneva. Yeah. <laughs> we uh, wish you the very best of luck this evening, and, uh, and hopefully we'll be sending you around the world. Uh, if not, be somebody else. It could very well be Heidi. Heidi Winfrey, who's been halfway around the world anyway, because she's from California, and she's, uh, she's come here um, and, uh, as a nurse. Now, when you, were, um, when you were applying to be a nurse in California, and they sent you all the papers, there was a bit of a misunderstanding, wasn't there? Yes, there was. What happened? I was filling out an application form and uh, for experience and past experience, and one of the questions was uh, assisting a patient to the theater. I thought, uh, theater? Yeah. Play? Mm -hmm. So you misunderstood the, the form a little bit. It was a bit of a language problem. Yes. Theater in America is what? The operating room. Yeah. OR. Yeah. We call it a theater, and you thought that part of a nurse's job in Britain and this is how, what the Americans think of us, was actually to come over and assist people, uh, taking them to the theatre. Yes. Marvellous. <laughs> and an Lord Webber musical, perhaps? Yeah. So have you had a few problems with these, these English uh, yes, translations? Yes, I have. Yeah? Yes. Okay, well, if you different. get this wrong this evening and you don't manage to get through, you'll be sent to Coventry. Okay. Yeah? And you can speak to 29 and 31 to find out what that means, That's okay? <laughs> Best of luck to you. And also, uh, good luck to Charlie. Charlie Christie is, is, is in seat three. Now, for anyone Scottish who's watching, of course, and uh, I know some of our three, at least three of our 49ers know what we're talking about here, but uh, for, for, for the ones who don't know, what's a Munro bagger? Hey, hey, Phil, it's Scottish mountains over 3,000 feet are called Munros. Mm -hmm. And if it's your hobby to climb them all, you're called a bagger. And you actually bag it when you get to the top. And yes, what you are, you are a Munro bagger. I'm a bagger, yes. And uh, how, many, how many have you bagged? I've done just under 150 at the moment. And then what are they? The 284 of them? 284, so I'm halfway there. How often do you bag? Every two or three weeks when I get the chance. You must be very fit. Not at all. Yeah. <laughs> we wish you the very best of luck. Yep. Our three people that we've already met, there are 49 of them. And we wish you all the luck in the world. Hopefully someone will go round the world this evening. You are tonight's 49ers. <laughs> we wish you the very best of luck this evening as we play Winning Lines. First question, eyes down. Here we go, the pressure's on. If David Beckham changes Romeo's nappy twice a day but has Saturday off for football, how many times does he change nappies in a week? I can see some of the faces there looking straight at me, not even bothering. They decided they would save themselves for it. Look, see, there's one. Saving themselves for another go. And if David Beckham changes Romeo's nappy twice a day but has Saturday off for football, how many times has he changed nappies in a week? We'll let you pink if you played. We have 35 people who played that question. Hopefully, 35 of you... Oh, not all 35 of you gave us the right answer. The answer we wanted was 12. Two nappy changes uh, each day for six days. That's 12. If you gave us 12, we'll light you blue. Unfortunately, I think we've got two reds here. Let's see. Yes, we have, unfortunately. We've got answers. Uh, Ken Horton gave us 72. Carmel Allington, 13, unfortunately, are two reds. 23 and 13. Unfortunately, right at this stage of the game, we have to say thank you very much indeed for playing, but we have to lose you. Now, that's a shame when it happens. Just two people. Who will be going through to round two? Here you go. In third place, Jeff Wilsdon. 
In second place, Mark Harborfield. And in first place, 3.91 seconds, first person through, it's Fraser Gray. Well done. You must um, be also be... We talked about sort of uh, Monroe bagging and being very fit, but, I mean, you are actually very fit because you're a marathon runner, aren't you? I've uh, run the London Marathon a few times, yes. And what sort of time? Uh, the best is uh, just under 3.18. Right, so when was the last time you ran it? That's uh, not this one, the one before. Right, would you do another one? Uh, yes, given the chance, if I get through. Good stuff, all right. Well, you're through to round two. Well done to you. How old is a person now if in two years' time he'll become a quadragenarian? How old is a person now if in two years' time he'll become a quadragenarian? OK, time's up. Let's like you pink if you play that question. Only eight people that time. Eight people played. The answer we wanted was 38. Quadragenarian is 40 years old. 40 minus the two is 38. If you gave us 38, you will go blue. If not, you'll go home. Five people got that wrong. Uh, most of our front row, unfortunately. Five people uh, got that wrong. Three people got it right. Uh, unfortunately, those five reds, we have to lose you from the game. Thanks for playing. Away they go. Three correct blues. Now let's put them into fast order. Speedy at the top. In third place, Sarah Blythe. <laughs> Second place, Steve Glasby. And in first place, it's Andy Pearson. Uh. Well done. How's Jennifer? Uh, she's fine. She's sat in the audience right now. Is she? That's good. And uh, you've been married for how long? Um, just since June, so just a couple of months now. So, the uh, first couple of months of marriage, OK? Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, really enjoying it so far. Did you have a honeymoon? Yeah, we did. Went to Malta. Right. Had a good time? Fantastic. Really nice weather. So a if, beautiful place to visit. Yeah. If you were uh, to win a, a holiday now, three weeks around the world, that'd be a nice extra honeymoon, wouldn't it? Beautiful, yeah. Good stuff. We well, suit around too. Well done to you. If the members of Blue each had a brother who joined the band, how many members would be in the group? I don't know how our slightly older members of uh, 49ers will go on with this one if they don't know the band Blue. Starting at a disadvantage. There we go. Time's up. If the members of Blue each had a brother who joined the band, how many members would be in the group? Let's light you pink if you played. We have got 13 people playing that question out of the uh, 40 remaining in the game. 13 had a go. The answer we wanted was eight. Uh, that's the answer. There are four members, Dunk, Anthony, Simon and Lee, plus the four brothers. That would be eight. If you gave us eight, it's a blue light. If not, it's a red one. We've three people who got that wrong, unfortunately. One of them, look at that, 39. You should have known that. Not Obviously not a, not a blue fan, eh? No, never mind. Not to worry, I'm afraid you. And the other two reds, we have to lose you from the game. Thanks for playing. Away they go. Ten correct blues. Who's the fastest? In third place, Amanda Bowen. <laughs> He's been third. He's now second. Moving up, getting speedier all the time. Jeff Wilsdon. But in first place, with a time of 2.66 seconds, it was Mick Shaw. Well done to you. You are um, you're one of those people who takes a bit of time when it comes to sort of home DIY. I just painted a garage door, and it took me three months to do it. Three months to paint a garage yeah, I, door? I primed it three months ago, and uh, I finished it last week. <laughs> right, so uh, are you starting any other jobs around the house? Uh, no, I won't, be let, I won't be let loose in the house, I don't think, for a while now. Oh, right, OK. Well, hopefully, you, 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 I mean, you're obviously very quick when it comes to this sort of thing, because uh, your speedy fingers have got you through into round two. We'll talk more in a few moments' time. In which year was the last general election held in Britain? In which year was the last general election held in Britain? Heads down there, that's looking good. Does that look a positive face to you? Oh, he's concentrating. No. <laughs> right. Let's let you pink if you played. We have only five people who, uh, who played that question. Five had a go. The answer we wanted was 2001. Did you give us 2001? Number 10 looks quite confident there. She's rocking in the seat, quite happy. Well, we'll soon see. If you did give us 2001, we will light you blue. If you didn't, we'll light you red. Ah, yes, 10 did get it right. And we have two people who got it wrong, three people got it right. If your light just went red, I'm afraid we lose you from the game. Thank you very much indeed for playing. Those three correct people. Who was the fastest? In third place, it's our number 10, Carmen Duck. In second place, John Williams. 
in first place, 4.01 seconds, Michelle Miles. Right in the middle. So, you are the first all ladies Morris dancer that I've ever met, yeah. I think. How often do you Morris dance? I don't actually at the moment. I've had to retire, but I used to Morris dance every week. Why have you had to retire? Dodgy knees. Oh, no. Is it tough on the knees? Yes, very. And, uh, and do, do people um, still take the mick a bit out of Morris dancing? or Very, it... very much so, particularly the men. Really? We don't like it because we're better. Is that what it is? Yeah. So, so the ladies are generally better Morris dancers than, than the blokes, are they? Uh, no, we pay more instruction to our dancers and we don't go off and do our own thing. Oh, I see. There'll be, there'll be men Morris dancers all over the country jumping up and down there and you can hear the bells ringing as they do. <laughs> You're through into round two. Well done to you. If a grandfather clock loses one minute in every six hours, how many minutes slow would it be after one day? This is a maths question that would finish me off. If a grandfather clock loses one minute in every six hours, how many minutes slow would it be after one day? Time's up. We'll light you pink if you played. 13 people out of our remaining 33. 13 people had a go. The answer we wanted was four. If you gave us four, we'll light you blue. If not, we'll light you red. We've 11 people with a blue light. We've two people with, uh, with a red one. We're sort of whittling them down very slowly this week. Those two both said the answer was 24. Incorrect. We have to lose you from the game. Thanks for playing. Oh, it's Heidi's gone. Heidi went as well there. Right, who is the fastest? In third place, Andy Rankin. In second place, Gordon Leggett. And in first place, at 5.67 seconds, it's Chris Passmore. Well done to you. You look a bit shocked. Surprised, yes. Surprised, surprised. And, uh, and who is looking after your B&B in Paul Guth? We've put the closed sign on it. Have you? Just, just for the weekend. Paul Guth, of course, in gorgeous Cornwall, and uh, quite near to Foy, yeah? Not too far. Not too far. Yes. Had a good season? Yes, thank you. Terrific. Yes, where, would you, where would you go? Important, of course, you work so hard. So many people in the holiday trade work incredibly hard, look forward to their holidays at the end of the season so they get a chance to go away. Where would you go? Um, Petra, we've decided. Right. Petra. OK, so a bit of history, that's what yeah. you fancy, is it? Good stuff. All right, we'll uh, send you through to round two. Hopefully you'll get that and a lot more this evening. How many days of the week contain the letter H? How many days of the week contain the letter H? Time's up. We'll light you pink if you played that final question. They're all in on this one. 21 people played. 21 had a go. Hopefully, those 21... Ah, oh, I see. Some of you got it wrong. 21 people didn't give us the answer one. That was what we wanted because, um, because it's Thursday. It's only Thursday. It's got an H in it. If you gave us that Thursday, it will be blue. If not, it will be the train home. Seven incorrect, 14 correct. Andy Crow in seat 15. You gave us the answer four. I did. Yeah. Slightly incorrect on the, on the days there. How are you working it out precisely? Quick guess. Was it? A, la <laughs> a last desperate guess. Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure having you on the programme. Thank you very much indeed for Thank joining us. Thank you very us. much. So we have to lose you, unfortunately, Andrew, and the other six Reds. Thanks for playing. They are all in the dark. Right, let's concentrate on these um, 14 Blues now, and all three of these have been through to this part of the programme before. All three have been at this stage before. In third place, been second, slipped down, Gordon Leggett. In second place, been second before and also third, Jeff Wilsden. Not quite fast enough. But he was third, he's now first at 3.24 seconds, Andy Rankin. You made it. Just. You, just at the last moment. You are a bit of a Greek fan, aren't you? Oh, we've been ten times ten to times the islands in what, mainland. Do you go to the same place or do you, do you just to check out everywhere? Seven different places. We've been back to Crete, we've been back to Kos. Mm -hmm. why, why Greece? Why not sort just of Just the way of life, the sun, everything about it. Would you, uh, would you like to go back to Greece if we could send you anywhere? Or, uh, On the way to somewhere else, on yes. On the way <laughs> to somewhere, where would you like to go? 
Asia, After Greece, where Asia, we... Australasia, somewhere. Yeah, so uh, so you just a little stop in Greece and then... Just a quick stop, yes. Yeah, good stuff. All right, well, well done to you. You are through into uh, round two. We'll say thank you very much indeed and uh, hope you enjoyed yourselves to the remaining 43 of our 49ers. <laughs> So this is looking after number one, and it brings our contestants a step closer to that dream holiday. As with every question up until now, the answers they need are numbers. And there are six choices, which are 14, 19, 20, 22, 41, and 43, the numbers that they brought with them from the first round. I will ask a question. Buzz in, get it right, and they stay in the game. But if they get it wrong, it's adios, and they are gone. If you are ready, team, the very best of luck. Let's play. Looking after number one. The cruel thing about this part of the programme is you can get knocked out and not even open your mouth. Here we go. Best of luck. And how many Oscar nominations did the 1997 film Titanic receive? That's Mick. 14. You're safe. 14. And you're right. It was 14. Andy Rankin. Oh, no. He's in the dark. Well done. How many imperial gallons? Almost equal, 100 litres. <gasps> oh. Someone's got to answer. And... Oh, time's up! No, oh, Fraser, it was 22. 22, I'm afraid you are in the dark. Sorry about that, and away he goes. How many police forces are there in England and Wales? <laughs> Tough questions. Someone else has got to go now for not answering. They didn't pick out their number, and it was Chris, 43. 43. Chris Passmore is in the dark. How many original Carry On films featured Sid James? They're not going to play this one either. Someone else is going to go. Who's this? From Carry On Constable to Carry On Dick, the answer is 19. 19, it's Mick Shaw, who is in the dark, and away he goes. Four down, two to go. But these two are both winners already. <laughs> I actually managed to answer many questions. One of them, there is a relaxing weekend in a British country house. The other could be going a little bit further afield with a round-the-world trip courtesy of the Wonder Wall. The answer to this question will be either uh, 20 or 41. 20 or 41. Michelle and Andy... You are head-to-head, -head. best of luck, and how old is Prince William? Andy. 20. Andy is correct! He plays the Wonderwall! <laughs> 21st of June, 1982, and that's a date you will remember for a very long time. You are absolutely right. Michelle, what a shame. That's, that's, that is a terrible shame. Uh, but you haven't got nothing. You won't leave here empty-handed because we'd like to send you here. Now it's time to see if Andy can win that dream holiday. Behind Andy is the Wonder Wall, and to give him a head start, so we put all the answers on it. All he has to do is to find those answers. Each answer has its own number. Now there are 20, you've got to get 20 right. Each one you get right will take you further away from the seat you're sitting in now. If you get all 20 right, you will go right the way around the world. Now, we obviously want you to do that. would be fantastic. You have in your hand a pit stop button. You can use it twice. Just freeze the action for 15 seconds, and that's if you get lost uh, or if you just need a bit of thinking time. I would say, if you don't know the answer immediately to one of the questions, say anything. It might sound daft, but say anything, and at least that way we can move on quickly. That uses the best of the time. OK? Yeah, sure. Nice and calm, nice and methodical across the board. If you're ready, let's play Wonderwall! There you go. That's the Wonder Wall. That's all that stands in between you and three weeks around the world. A bit of spending money, top class hotels. Try and remember as much as you possibly can as you look at that. And we're playing. What is the hard outer casing of a nut called? Twenty-four shell. Correct. What is the collective word for a group of sheep or birds? 
Eleven o'clock. Correct. What was a suit of metal made for a medieval warrior? Twenty-eight armor. Correct. What name is given to the pastry covering of a pie? Thirty-seven crust. Correct. What is the surname of Edward, who succeeded Harold Wilson as Prime Minister of Britain? Eight Callaghan. Five Heath. Popular in the Middle Ages, which alcoholic drink is made from honey and water? Forty-one mead. Correct. What is a wafer of silicon processed into integrated circuits for use in a computer? Two chip. Correct. What traditionally describes the upper lip of concealed emotions? Thirty-eight stiff. Correct. What is the name of the dog in the title of the film in which Tom Hanks plays Turner? Fourteen hooch. Correct. Which type of woman's garment can be described as straight and mini? Nine skirt. Correct. What do we call the card game the Americans refer to as solitaire? Pit stop taken. One minute thirty-seven. Halfway through, you're doing really well. What do we call the card game the Americans refer to as solitaire? If you find it, just look at the rest of that board for the four seconds you've got remaining. And we're playing. Seventeen patients. Correct. What is the name for a cube of deep-fried bread used as a garnish in soup? Sixteen crew. Correct. Which educational establishment is for very young children? Second pit stop taken. One minute seventeen. Still on course. Which educational establishment is for very young children? And we're playing. Forty-eight nurse. Correct. Complete the title of the 1967 Beatles hit single Penny. What? Twenty-two lane. Correct. What is the name of the Alpine mountain pass linking Switzerland with Italy? Seven Newfoundland. Twelve Saint Bernard. Which Shakespearean character is Juliet's personal servant and confidant? Eight Callahan. Forty-four Nurse. According to the popular saying, what is the great healer? Twenty-six Time. Correct. Which enclosed area for cultivating fruit trees takes its name from the Latin for garden yard? Six Orchard. Correct. What is a punch in boxing or a miss hit in golf? Twenty-three Hook. Correct. What does the K of the common abbreviation UK stand for? Thirty Kingdom. Correct. According to Gilbert and Sullivan, Captain Corcoran commanded HMS what? Four Pinafore. Correct. What is the area in a hotel or company where guests and visitors are dealt with? Fifteen species. Forty-seven reception. Which traditional puppet character has a long nose, goggle eyes, and a hunchback? So, uh, what do you think? Um, not too bad, it felt like it was going well. Yeah? Mm. Okay, we're, we're looking at sort of 12, 13, 14, do you think? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, around about that. Yeah, thing, about yeah. that, yeah. Have a look at this. <laughs> How's that? Well done. Excellent. Round of applause.